I'm Dwayne with DK Custom, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install a premium, discrete external breather system with Catch Can. I would appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because it would really help us out. Now, this installation, obviously, it's gonna be on a Sportster. The, the installation is pretty much the same on all Sportster, twin cam, and M8 engines. Uh, you know, you have the head breather system, you know, it vents up through here, out the breather bolts into your intake. The system simply reroutes that. Now, just a note here, the system does not work on many aftermarket air cleaners and especially anything stock. So just to get that out of the way, you have to have a low profile support bracket to use the banjo breather bolt assembly that is included with this kit. Now, that brings me to the next thing. What is included with the kit? Obviously you have the banjo breather bolt assembly, which is the banjo fittings and the hollow centered breather bolts. You have an assortment of washers. You have six foot of hose, so you can route the system anywhere you choose. You have worm drive hose clamps. You have a multitude of zip ties, and you have various fittings, T fittings and L fittings, so you can route the hose and plumb it to the location of your uh, choosing in a clean manner. All right, so as you can see, I already have the support bracket in place. I have one side of the banjo fitting installed already, but I'll show you how those assemble now. You have the banjo bolt, similar it's on a brake system. You have it's hollow in the center, vents out of the side. You install your washer, you'll install your banjo fitting, and you'll install another washer on the other side of the banjo fitting. That's the assembly. We'll bolt directly into the head as shown. Now, the factory breather bolts, you'll notice this when you've taken your OEM air cleaner off. They have a white paste, that's Teflon paste. It acts as a thread locker. It also prevents a manner of seepage where the oil carryover may seep around the threads and leak out. I don't like to use the Teflon paste and uh, Teflon tape works perfectly. It stands up to the heat, it will act as a thread locker and it will absolutely prevent seepage. It's also much easier to find. Most times we have it laying around the house, looks like this. And this will thread in most of the way by hand. Uh, this is definitely not a bolt you want to over tighten, uh, so don't you know put any power tools to it. Simple uh, box in and wrench would work perfectly. Now, something to note: a lot of people don't realize is uh, if you like, you can orientate these banjo fittings upward and inward, route the hose over the bike, right along the backbone of the frame. They don't have to go down. Gravity is not crucial to how these breather systems function. Uh, it's, it's inevitably going to make it to the end of the system or be, be vaporized. All right, at this point, you would choose where you want to route the hoses to. Now, from here, you would have about a six or seven inch length of hose coming from each bolt, collecting at a T fitting. These kits include a brass T fitting. They also include a black plastic T fitting. We're going to go with the black plastic to keep with the discreet look of the bike. When placing the order, you have the choice of a black catch can, it's powder coated black, or the billet aluminum, which you can polish up to a mirror finish. If you have a chromed out bike, this works perfectly. If you wanna keep it discreet, the powder coat black is an excellent choice. We're gonna go with the black on this Sportster. Now, all of these external breather kits include six foot of hose. So you have plenty of hose routed to the rear of the bike, bottom of the bike, other side of the bike, front of the bike, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of hose to do that with, and we're gonna mock it up now. All right, so these hoses are gonna connect right here in the center, so that's about where I'm gonna cut. All right, so my hose is gonna end right there, centered right beneath the mouth of the intake, and that's where I'm gonna install the T-fitting. Now, a little trick for you guys, this T-fitting is barbed, and you may be installing and taking it off, mocking it up several times, so you don't wanna fight with it. You can use a little silicone spray. Lubricates it nicely, it'll slip right in there and slip out just as easy. All right, since I want it to be centered, I want the hose coming off this side to be roughly the same exact length as the hose on this side. So I'll mock that up now. And cut. So 
So that's nice and centered. And uh, again, if I wanted to uh, route the catch can to the bottom side of the bike, I would use a length of hose and route it along the location of my choosing. But for this install again, I'm gonna let the catch can hang right here. Gives it easy access. It hides in plain sight, it's really discreet. And every five or 10,000 miles or so, you do need to clean this catch can. And if it's right here, it's really easy to get to it. Doesn't collect a lot of dirt or road debris. Works out perfectly. So you will need a short section of hose for the catch can to hang from. And this is a 3 8 hose. The catch can inlet is 3 8 for those of you that will be building your own external breather system. And again, silicone spray, lubricate it. Fits perfectly there. Now this isn't a high pressure system, so the worm drive hose clamps, they are overkill. What I like to use is black zip ties, just, to, uh, just for peace of mind, hold the hoses in place and it works out perfectly and very discreetly. You don't have to fight with the worm drive hose clamps. Get that nice and tight on the hose barb. And there you go. You essentially have the effect of a blacked out hose clamp, secures the hose in place, and uh, looks really discreet. I'm gonna proceed to installing the rest of these black zip ties. In our next video, we're gonna be installing the High Flow 587 air cleaner in conjunction with this external breather system. You guys ride safe out there.